Hey guys, and she is back. Hello, I took a hiatus a little bit somewhat. It didn't start off as a hiatus. It started off as technical difficulties. And I did have the outcome, or I had the solution for the technical difficulties. Um, and then that became more of a pushback. And then, you know, I don't really... I like have my computer but my computer is selective if you follow me on Instagram I've already made a video that states where I've been and what happened but for those of you that do not follow me on Instagram just kind of a quick backstory like real quick like we're not gonna get too much into detail I just wasn't really myself mentally and then this past week that happened I really did not feel well um, like mentally but more so physically and health wise and I just I wasn't on par with, you know, faking the funk and getting on here because all of this, all of this takes, you know, even the most basic, what, like the most basic of highlight, the most basic of eyebrows, mascara, lip gloss, it takes effort, it takes time, it's not just something like, oh, you whip it on like it looks like I did um, because I don't really like to do my makeup like everybody else and I don't have foundation on, I don't have anything on like that, I don't have powders, all of that, and like, I feel like I don't need it and it's too heavy and it itches and I'm very sensitive to certain things so as soon as I'm done with this video I'm gonna go and wash up because then I'm just gonna get like my face gets really irritated I won't break out but my face just gets really itchy and irritated so anyhow where have I been I'm just trying to get myself together. I was just really just trying to be at a good mental space where I could just come on and just be like, yo, what's up? Like, I'm not skipping a beat. Like, if I hadn't left, um, there really is no legitimate excuse aside from the fact that this past week I did not feel great at all whatsoever. And um, prior to that, it was technical difficulties, but then I just kind of let life shake me up a little bit and uh, we learned from that lesson and we just did did not because life is funny it's like when you feel like you're up like you could be thriving and like work and school and your job or um relationships friendships and then you feel like you're at a place and that's where I was where I felt like I was like fine like you know quarantine you know took away like like what what traditionally what I went to work I still go to work once a week I'm not sure if I've mentioned that before on here um, and then it's like work was good relationships that I felt like meant something for me to hold and to keep and attain were going good my relationship obviously I don't see my boyfriend and yeah I miss him so I do miss him don't get me wrong I do but it's for our safety and for our benefits for our families to not see each other and so it kind of like all of that with quarantine and everything and if you know me I'm home bodied anyways so it's just kind of like every everything thriving 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 winning the Vicky the Fit Chick challenge thriving 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 and then life just kind of like blah. and so I just I had to get my get my stuff together basically in a nutshell that's what that was and today's video I didn't realize I had all this stuff all the way back here you will realize that it is Trader Joe's Trader Joe's haul um, and I have two bags and this one is actually heavier I don't know why I didn't distribute the stuff um, like evenly so anyhow let me see if I can try to make a thumbnail out of this <laughs> and hopefully it's that thumbnail that gets selected and chosen so for those of you that are curious and not to cut my own self off it's just more so like it doesn't matter where I've been the matter is is that I'm back right um, so my total at Trader Joe's um, was 62.35 out of my own chip and I'm not gonna show you the receipt because I don't need y'all knowing which location because then y'all are just gonna go and steal all my good stuff and as it is I couldn't find or I found two of the items but I had to go all around the store in order to um, to get what I really wanted which was where is that I specifically went to the store and I like sorry to close for comfort I specifically went to the store for the new watermelon like mist facial mist and for the new watermelon 
overnight face mask. Now, I don't use products like these, so my first time opening it, I didn't smell it, which I... Well, right now with coronavirus, it's kind of tricky. Um, they usually have like samples so that people do not um, like open up and they'll have like one on display, but you know, obviously you can't touch stuff. And the component itself, it's heavy. It's, I want to say it's glass. It kind of feels like that like super smooth, matte, like heavy glass. It is pretty heavy. It says that it has a net weight of 0.2 ounces, 57 grams. Like I said, watermelon overnight mask with watermelon, fruit, water, and plant derived squalling, squalane, nah, something like that. Okay, so my first impressions, and I've seen enough tutorials to know what people like. I've never done any kind of reviews for beauty products because my stuff is pretty basic. I don't use anything like high end or anything like anything like that. But my first impressions going based off of the component, the the packaging if you're into it, it's very simplistic, minimalistic, which I I like. I know some people may or may not like that, but I tend to like something like it straight to the point, cute white little watermelons. And then they have little clouds and it says sweet dreams so they do have like a lot of little details um, and it has this little pull tab so it does come covered and like most you know what is it called like tatcha or whatever <laughs> I mean I've never bought tatcha because it's more like dewy stuff and I don't need dewy I'm already oily I need something like I don't want to mattify my face either because I don't want it to like like I just don't want to be matte or dewy. <laughs> I just want to be normal. Um, it doesn't have like a little like dofa or like a little like spatula that comes when you're supposed to do that. So I'm guessing you just dip your finger in it and it's all the way to the top. It smells wonderful actually. It like it does smell like watermelon. But it also smells like a hint of something else that I cannot put my finger on, but it smells great. Um, and it just says to apply generous layer onto cleaned and dry skin, avoiding the eye area. Gently pat mask into skin until fully absorbed, then get some beauty sleep. Wash thoroughly in the morning, use two to three nights per week or as needed. Pretty simple. So let me see because I cannot get my finger onto so it's just oh my god I should have read this because half of this stuff I cannot pronounce which I don't know if that is good or bad look at this list <laughs> look at that list of ingredients that and I mean I get it for for things it's supposed to be it's supposed to have all this stuff, but like, it has like apple, juniperus, virgin. I can't even pronounce these things. Sorry if I botch or butcher any of this stuff. Watermelon, from what I see, coffee, melon, leaf seed, apricot, cup. Like, no, like, when you smell it or if you get to smell this, please put down at the comments below what it smells like because it's not like it's not floral which I appreciate because in products when they tend to use fragrance it I don't know if it's just me if my skin is very sensitive but I itch I cannot have any kind of fruity I mean not fruity um I can't have any kind of like rose or jasmine or or any kind of, what's that one, uh, not hydrangea, the one that Kim Kardashian, gardenia, gardenia, gardenia? 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 Yeah, that stuff. I, ugh, I cannot, I cannot, cannot, cannot. And um, as far as the mist, mm, it's like watermelon-y, it, it smells like summer. It smells like it could be one of those like hair things that you put and you get like beach waves type of product. Anywho, moving on to the list, like I said. So if anybody is curious for the face mask, the overnight face mask um, was 
is $6.99 and for the watermelon face mist was $3.99. Now, I was actually quite shocked in finding that Trader Joe's, oh my god, I guess I should have separated the stuff that I wanted to use first, has sheet masks. Now, I mean, I go to Trader Joe's pretty often and maybe I just overlooked it and it will look like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can. Um, so you're just supposed to, it's like a leave-in mask, 20 minutes, remove, pat any remaining serum to the skin. Their list is a lot little smaller, but then at the same time, it's just, it's a lot of stuff too. A flower extract, ugh. I guess I should have read it before I bought it. I don't know. I got excited. It was $1.99 and I felt like if it's at Trader Joe's and they were running low on it, like cucumber fragrance. Oh, hopefully it's not. A cucumber is one of those fragrances that it's pretty tricky also. The cucumber by itself is fine. I just don't like when they add other stuff to it. Like leave it alone. If you're just going to do it, just do it alone. Don't be adding like rose especially i can't do rose anything i can't do rose face mist i can't do any kind of rose like soap like oh oh my god it's just it's terrible aside from that we don't have a cup of the day because i just i'm waiting to have like a what is it called like a debut for my cup of the day i'm gonna do like a week's worth of cup of the day and it's gonna be a series of like you know similar cups of the day so i'm just i'm just waiting for that just just hold on on that guys but we do have a drink of the day drink of the day yeah yeah and it is brought to you by aha now this happens to be one of my favorites flavors i didn't know they made the big can i went to ralph's today after i left trader joe's and it was to my surprise that they had this on sale for a dollar fifty and right next to it they had a tall can of bubbly on a separate fridge um and the i want to say the bubbly tall cans were 1.99 which i would have bought it but this was 50 cents cheaper so shout out to coke for the marketing because they won and how can you have a competitor and have a product and you're not competing with their price for that week i mean come on now bubbly come on get it together mm. Ooh. Yes, exactly what I needed right now. So anyhow, along with that, I got my Synergy. This one, I know I mentioned before in one of my videos that the Fruit Punch was like tied to my favorite kombucha, which is this one. And it just makes me miss Omar. Mm, miss him. I know I keep saying that and then I know I say I don't miss him. But certain things like that is just like a little, a little glimpse of like miss him even though we just got off the phone <laughs> anyways uh continuing on what i got honey roasted i hadn't had these in a while um but i just kind of felt like i wanted something sweet now one fourth of a cup is 190 calories and there are oh that's not that much sugar that's awesome the sodium however is not too too bad either but you gotta watch out with nuts because nuts are very fatty um and for those of you that are curious the peanuts are $2.99 for this big bag. And this big bag is one pound. Moving on. If you go to Trader Joe's, and first of all, if you don't like coconut, girl, boy, y'all, non-binary, y'all are going to have to get it together because coconut has so many benefits for you hydration um the way that you know it's just electrolytes like more than anything hydrating and for you to just stay hydrated <laughs> um coconut strips everybody's just coming to the backyard and just making me nervous because they're just staring back here in my family coconut strips they're lightly sweetened dried fruit and if anybody is curious for how much those cost, they were $2.29. And for the calories, one fourth cup is $1.70. And there's about four servings in this bad boy. Moving on. Huh? What? Reload hold. Oh, okay, yeah. So what? 
because I experienced some um, brother needing my attention <laughs> and um, he needed something to watch on Hulu so I guess I got disconnected because I'm in the backyard anyways like I said I don't know where I left off and I really don't want to skim through the video so sorry um, like I said if you have not tried these coconut strips they're like a Mexican you know the the barra of coco that has um, the pink strip at the top it's like a lower calorie version of that because those things are so calorie dense that you don't even know how much they have unless you get the ones with the wrapper but the ones with the wrapper are not it you gotta go to the mercadito or you gotta go to your local corner market and get the ones that are in the you know in the little bucket thing anywho moving on now I know if you know me you know that I love my mango with chile yes this is my forever faithful um, half a cup is 140 calories um, this one seems to have like I don't know I've never seen it where maybe it's because of the heat that this that the chile is like stuck to the bag but you can never go wrong with your old faithful um, and that one is two 29 also and then my new go-to and I know I know I know I've been trying to see if I wanted to um, Invest in one of those. What are they called? What are they called Juan? The, the dehydrator? What? Where you with the for like the fruit and all that stuff? Yeah, I wanted to see if I wanted to invest in one because you know, I mean why go buy it, but it's it's bomb i mean three pieces is 120 and i'm looking at it and i mean they do add some sugar to it oh, goodness gracious i just thought of a challenge huh put your wiener in the dehydrator challenge wow no, don't do it somebody might actually try it <clears throat> my brother for you ladies and gentlemen Anywho, I just noticed, sadly, then I'm not sure if it was these or the ones from Aldi that we tried that one time that didn't have any. I think they were the ones from Aldi. Anyways, these are bomb, too. I might have gotten them confused. I know I've tried the ones from Trader Joe's, but I think the ones that I had them confused with was with Aldi. And now I'm realizing it because it's like, ugh, I wanted those. Not these. Still going to eat them, obviously. I'm just not going to eat them all together because too much sugar anyways guys also also my go-to my rx bars love them this by far this flavor vanilla vanilla almond has got to be my favorite flavor ever and all it is three egg whites six almonds four cashews two dates no bs you see it there um, I like to have these especially right after like a workout when it's not ready like dinner time and I don't I'm not into protein shakes. Maybe I need to get into them just to be able to like meet my my macros my goals my um, Yeah, like my macros for the day because I just No macros like your protein your carbs I just what what is it with the interruptions today anywho so 210 calories um, 12 grams of protein I understand that it's not the best but I mean you know protein bars could be excessive in calories and I don't really like I'm just horrible when it comes to the dieting part of um, the day not because I don't eat right or I don't eat healthy or I don't like healthy foods it's just I just I just don't eat and so I realized that I'm big for no reason but then at the same time that is the reason because I don't eat like I just I know that sounds crazy to say but I'll forget to like eat and then I'll get a headache and I'm like wait hold on when was the last time I ate so I'm just trying to you know do better I guess and just drinking more water I'm sticking to my vitamins um, speaking of vitamins I found this at the bottom of my bag because I just kind of threw everything at the bottom down there and let's take our emergencies and a few people asked me um, what vitamins I take and what their benefit is so I'm not sure if that's a video that you guys are interested if it is something you're interested uh, leave a little comment I don't know but I wanted to like leave a little emoji not just like a little comment 
leave a little orange emoji if you would like me to tell you what vitamins I take and what their benefits are. Yeah, cheers guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. The powder went up my nose. Ugh. Terrible. Puras fallas today. I am so off my game. It is really making me mad. Oh my god. Anyways, let's continue. Um, $1.99 are um, these RX bars. You can get them cheaper, like... I know we've gotten them on occasion. We've gotten them at Grocery Outlet, which is also one of my staples. I don't go as often um, because I'll usually go to my tried and true, which is my quarter market once a week. And that's pretty much it. Today I went to Trader Joe's to just, you know, do something fun, do something different. What you guys, um, excuse me. I wanted you guys to see what it is that, you know, I like to, you know, get from Trader Joe's. Now judge me judge me if you want i don't care but uh, <laughs> i'm not scared of bees but that's a hornet <laughs> oh my god i know that oh too close for comfort my god everybody's just messing with me today live um i know what it says vegan banana with walnut it is delicious now i know i'm tripping or am I tripping? Because when I saw the price, it said $4.29. And I don't remember it ever being $4.29. I want to say when they came out, it was $2.99. Or maybe I just wanted to see that. But I'm not sure. Whatever. This is delicious. This is bomb. My sister Liz makes some delicious bomb bay uh, banana bread. But haven't had that in a while. So... Gotta go buy my Trader Joe's banana bread. <laughs> Hint. Um, also, this is more so for my brother um, because I don't. I mean, I'll have a few, but this is for him. And these are just peanut butter filled squares, pretzel squares, um, nuggets. Peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. That's what it is. 10 pretzel bites are 150 calories. And, um, yeah, these retail for, oh my God, where are they at? $2.49. Oh my God. That's a good deal. So, a couple more items. Well, just two more items. And this counts as one item, even though I have two. If you have not tried these chomps, they are a healthy version of the Slim Jims, I guess, is that what it is? So it's an original beef stick. It is mild, grass-fed and finished beef, U-S-E-D. Um, all stick without the ick. <laughs> Nine grams of protein, 90 calories per serving, zero sugar, not a low-calorie snack. It is Whole30 approved, non-GMO um, project verified, certified GF gluten-free, and U.S. inspected and passed by Department of Agriculture. That is a mouthful. Like I said, these are delicious. They have a turkey one, um, and that one's good too, but I like the beef ones. And they also have the jalapeno um they're in green package both the turkey one and the beef one have not tried the jalapeno ones just because um it's, it just doesn't sound interesting to me but these beef ones are the bomb so lastly my last product sorry if this video isn't like super super duper duper interesting it's just more so of it's a haul guys it's you know these are products that i buy faithfully when i go to trader joe's i'll always buy um the coconut strips i'll always buy the mangoes i'll always buy um where i get the rx bars i'll always get the pretzels for my brother because i don't go to trader joe's often i used to go more often when because there's like one down the street from my job but it would be to get like a kombucha uh orange juice a you know just like little snacks here and there and we always had mango with chile at work so lastly staple 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 since they came out and i ran out of them but then i saw that one of the trader joe's locally had coronavirus and then i freaked out and then i didn't want to go to trader joe's around here 
face and body wipes. Yes, guys, if you have not tried these, these are probably the best wipes, hands down. I have tried a lot of wipes. That is one thing I have tried. I tried them at Marshalls because they are very inexpensive there. But since there is no Marshalls, obviously, we have to go with the... Um, it is a cucumber and citrus smell. But honestly, there really is no smell. They, um, they're very, like, hypoallergenic. Um, very, 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 like... I don't know they're like not chemical if you know what I mean because I know that sometimes when they try to like preserve it or they have like the scent like I noticed that that with like cucumber and stuff it, like I said it's more perfumey um, but not with these these uh, are actually you know like I said my skin is very very sensitive and I noticed that when I you know use those it's more of a refreshing type of thing it's not like a it doesn't like it doesn't make your skin tacky and it doesn't make it like like there's no residue it just does what it says to do it's gonna wipe it's gonna clean hydrate your face but it, there's no like you get what i'm saying I, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced where stuff is like tacky and sticky and then you have to like rinse your face and then it's like what's the point then then why am i using a wipe right um and the wipes were oh my god 3.99 and there's a and it's a packet of 60 i want to say I believe it comes with 60 lightly scented 64 pre-moisturized um toilets towelettes <laughs> anywho yeah that's all i have for you guys other things you know honor honorary mentions that aren't in here because they're already inside my house are butter um white corn tortilla chips for my brother uh refried beans with jalapeno in them because you know that's for like taco tuesdays um, and then also, um, the jar of the peaches. And I know, I know, I know it seems like a lot of money for peaches, but I think the jar itself, well, I could just tell you what the jar itself is $3.99 for a jar, like that skinny jar of the peaches. And there's like, I don't know, six maybe, but those peaches, you only need one. And trust me, they are delicious and they're nice and fat. And I just, I love those peaches. So it's that jar, didn't come over here. Bananas. Oh, and chocolate hummus, which I have not tried. And um, I want to say uh, strawberries. So that's all that equated to $62.35. Paid with my own money. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I have not tried that chocolate hummus. But I have seen people use it with... Um, strawberries so it's more of a dessert hummus obviously i'm not sure if it's garbanzo i will you know i'll let you guys know when i taste test it what it is like um so that that way we could keep each other in the loop so like i said if you would like for me to review um the vitamins videos or anything like like vitamin related specifically leave me that little orange emoji otherwise leave comments below to let me know what you guys would like to see sorry for the lighting issue it didn't matter where i was going to be in my yard it's just that time of day where the sun's going to be in out dark and all that so hopefully you guys were able to see um see see all this properly so like i said you guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe ring the notification bell and like i said comment below what it is that you guys would like to see next thanks for watching